Hi, my name is Antonio, and I made a video on time travel. I hope you enjoy. Time travel is something many people dream about as children, but as they grow older, they are told that it is science fiction and not possible. But is it? Well, actually, it is kind of possible to travel to the future, but not to the past. And it has already been scientifically proven. But traveling to the future is nothing like what they show in the movies, and you won't be able to see your future self. If you are wondering how we can travel ahead in time, you came to the right place. Let's jump right in. To do it, you slow down your time in comparison to someone else or something else. A way to slow down your time is to go very, very fast. To understand how this happens, you'll need to know that light is something that no matter what will always go the same speed as long as it travels in a uniform environment such as outer space, where it travels approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. Now, imagine someone in a car throws a ball out of the window in the direction the car is moving. The ball would go the speed the person threw it at, plus the speed the car was moving. As I previously said, if that person turned on a flashlight in the direction the car was moving, the light would not have gone any faster than it normally would have if the car was not moving at all. This time, imagine someone is in a really tall car with mirrors that would make the light go up and down. The people inside the car would see that the light would go straight up and down. Now, if you are outside the car and they turn on a light while driving the car really fast, you will see the light go on a curved V-shaped path. Also, remember it is the same light, so both you and the other person will see the light coming out from the first mirror simultaneously and coming back to it simultaneously as well. For you standing outside of the car, the light traveled a further distance than for the people inside the car. We know that light can't go any faster than the speed of light. This means that the only way this could have happened was if time went slower for the people in the car. And there you have time travel. Keep in mind that for this to have happened, the car would have to have gone supersonic or faster than the speed of sound for this effect to be noticeable. The most anyone has traveled in time using this method was a Russian cosmonaut who traveled 0.02 seconds into the future. He did this in a course of approximately three years. In the future, we may be able to go near the speed of light, and if we can, then you can travel forward in time by many years. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe button. If you didn't, please let me know what I can improve on in the comments section down below. Bye!